Against Tank. Against Tank? Yeah. I would have frustrated him like you did Ryan. And boxed his head off and let him come to me. And... Yeah, so Frank the Ghost Martin, man. Looked like he was at the... I believe he was at the Williams to pay the fight, but nonetheless, he was out and about scouting, looking for the smoke. You already know what to do. Hit that like button for your boy, man. Frank the Ghost Martin, he's been out here. And like I told you guys, I felt like Frank Martin is the dark horse of the lightweight division. He's that guy who um, could surprise everybody, right? He has the ability, the mindset, talent, everything to be one of the to beat any of the top guys, right? But he's just not quite there as far as popularity. Of course, we as we know, he's an Errol Spence fighter, and he's looking for all the smoke. As you see on his social media, he says, I'm a real one. I ain't running from nobody. That's right, Frank Martin. He ain't running from nobody. As we know, Keyshawn Davis came out on his most recent fight against Anthony Yigit. He came out and said, I want you, meaning he wanted Frank Martin, right? He wanted to make a fight, um, but you know, I don't know. It, 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 would that fight happen right now? I don't know. Frank Martin is at a, is like right there at potentially fighting for a world title pretty soon, right? Um, but he has some things to say, right? He has some things to say. And yeah, salute the Texas boxing scene for the for the um, interview, right? I believe they was out there and Frank Martin was on the scene. And yeah. Davis, I think he said he wanted to let the fight marinate a little bit. Man, look, if that, like, see, I ain't, I'm not for all that. You know, like if, the fighters I called out, and they like, yeah, we can fight tomorrow. I'm ready to fight. Like, I'm ready to sign a contract, whatever. I'm ready to fight now. I don't want to let nothing marinate. Like, if I say I want to fight or something like that, they ain't going to be like, they be like, yeah, we accept it. I be like, oh, no, I ain't ready. For, I'm ready for all of the fights that I named out. I'm ready for them right now. Ain't nothing got to marinate. I'm in the gym every day, you know. All the smoke. Consistently, so I want all the smoke. Um, Any idea when you might be all the smoke, right? He wants all the smoke. Frank the Ghost Martin out here wanting all the smoke from everybody, right? You see in his in his comment sections here, it says, um, "You and Tank should be next, bro. I know named dropping not you, but they go keep dodging if you don't apply some pressure. Y'all on the same side of the street. No excuses. Talking about Cruz rematch. F out here. It's your turn. Facts, bro. Salute to that guy, right? Salute to that guy. It's really Frank's turn, if we're honest. It ain't it ain't Pitbull's turn. It's actually Frank's turn if we're going in line because Michelle Rivera was actually supposed to be fighting Tank Davis for that WB, um, WBA strap or whatever, the regular one. Now it's supposed to be Frank Martin's turn, you know? And yeah, yeah. we know how sometimes things like that could play out. This is what he had to say about Tank Davis. I was frustrated him like he did Ryan. And boxed his head up in his what, what would you have done against Tank? Against Tank? Yeah. I would have frustrated him like he did Ryan. And boxed his head off and let him come to me. And... There's the ghost right there, man. Great to see you. The ghost. Talking. Yeah. Um, I'm just in there getting the job done. But, you know, everybody want to hear me talk. You know, everybody want to. That's they, right. They want that entertainment. So I'm going to start giving everybody what they want. Well, you know what? Yeah, sometimes that's how fights get made, right? Yeah. That's right. You got to talk, Frank. And Frank is already out here. He's out here. I believe that was the Williams that paid the fight. He, he's looking for all the smoke, right? He's looking for all the smoke. He said, look, this is how I got to do it. This is what I'm going to do. Give me, give me any other big names. That's, snap is any other big names. Everybody know the big names. Do I need to name them? Because everybody's like, put a name on them. Do I need to name them out? Uh, Devin Haynes, Corey Stevenson, uh... Uh, uh, Javante Davis, uh, Williams of Pay, that he, he rocking too. So, any other big names, man? Right? All the belts are tied up with one guy right now, right? I mean, are you okay with this fight? Other top names, even if it's not necessarily for a world title, or would you rather just wait for Devin Haney? I mean, you know, everything is tied up because of the belts, but you know, waiting, that just keeping me inactive. You know, I need to fight, so that's right. I can get, you know, I just gotta, I gotta do what I, what I can until those belts free. Unless those belts are free, I'm ready to go get them. You know, obviously there's a lot of contenders. That's right. See, 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 this is what I'm talking about right here. Right? That's that's the that's the attitude of the lightweight division. This is why I say the lightweight division has taken over the welterweight division, because the attitude of a lot of these guys. Now, um I'll be lying to you if I said that it didn't seem like the fighters didn't really want to fight. These fighters seem like they really want to fight in the lightweight division. 
Um, but will they handlers make some of these fights now? Tank and Frank, <laughs> that's what we gonna call that one. Tank versus Frank, um, that fight could happen, right? Frank Martin did mention something about um, him approaching the day um, Davis team Davis, and you know, I basically he had to he basically the vibe that I got was that he had to come with them kind of with, with some respect, you know, and. They pretty much go see what happens. They go see what happens, right? They, they want that entertainment, so I'm gonna start giving them. You say that, Davis. I think he said he wanted to let the fight marinate a little bit. Man, look, if that, like, see, I ain't, I'm not for all that, you know, like if. So if Keyshawn Davis wants to fight to marinate, um, that means that he he's not quite ready, um, just yet. He's not quite ready for the Frank to go smart. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, we go see what happens, man. Frank to go smart now here. He looking for the smoke. You know, we talk about the lightweights, the top lightweights in the lightweight division. Frank Martin is definitely one of them. He should be actually next in line to fight Tank Davis. He got the juice, right? He got Errol Spence behind him. Errol Spence is his promoter. Errol Spence got juice in the game. Errol Spence fans, y'all need to get behind your boy Frank. I'm... I'm rocking with Frank Martin, as we all know. And, um, man, he, I, like I told you guys, I feel like he's the dark horse of the lightweight division. Don't be surprised if you see Frank Martin with some belts. Don't be surprised if you see Frank Martin upset your favorite fighter. Like, subscribe, holler at your boy. Peace out.